Yo, what's going on guys? Crimson here and today I'm going to be talking about my personal OBS settings that I use to get the best possible quality out to the viewers without taking a big hit on my system. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, remember to leave a like and a comment down below. But anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video. So like I did say, today I'm going to be looking at my OBS settings and these settings are going to be using NVENC, which is using your GPU instead of your CPU. And now in case you guys don't know, know the difference between the two the cpu which is x264 is usually way better with quality meaning that you're gonna have less grain and things like that but it does make your cpu run hotter and it does slow down your computer overall if you don't have a very good computer so if you guys are on an i5 of any sort it's going to be a pretty choppy stream and you're not going to be able to interact with your viewers and your viewers are just going to see a very choppy screen because your game is going to be tearing left and right because the i5 cannot take it. Now, if you guys are on a Ryzen platform, you guys definitely do have the option of streaming like a Ryzen 5 1600 or 1600X. That's what I use to stream with X264. But today I'm going to be telling you guys how I use NVENC to record and stream because I've been using it for the past three weeks on twitch and i've already reached affiliate and i do think that it's a lot to do with my quality because if my stream quality isn't good then you guys aren't really going to want to stick around you get what i'm saying so this is going to be something that's going to help everyone out that doesn't have an i7 8700k or anything like that anything too crazy because this is going to help you out if you have even a 960 a 970 a 980 i have a 980 and i use nvnc and it works perfectly fine for me so this means that if you guys have a graphics card that has the nvnc option which most of them do then you guys will be perfectly fine but anyways guys let's switch over to my desktop so now this is going to be a little bit tricky because i want to keep my overlay on so you guys can see everything but i want to be looking at the webcam at the same time so i'm going to be talking to you guys and then doing the settings and then going back and forth so right now i'm going to jump into the settings that i personally use so you just want to click streamlabs and click settings up here and once you guys open up settings you guys want to head over to your output and once you guys are at your output you guys can easily leave this at simple or advanced it doesn't really matter too much because you're not going to be changing too many things you're only going to be changing around a few little things so first off for video rate you're going to put it at 5,000 to 6,000 and now I know that a lot of you guys are going to be like but Twitch only allows for 3,500 and yes that is true and yes after you go over 3,500 some people may experience buffering but the thing is that if you guys do want to use NVENC which is your graphics card you guys need to give it 5,000 to 6,000 bitrate just because the quality is not going to be there unless you give it that extra bitrate and if you guys are using x264 then yes 3500 would be perfect because like i did say having a beefy cpu does pay off in the long run so x264 3500 nvenc 5000 to 6000 bit rate and obviously if we're going to be using nvenc you might as well have it in the encoder list that should have probably been the first thing i said and the encoder preset you want to keep this at default because it's not really that big of a difference between high quality high performance and all of that in my opinion it looks exactly the same so it's just whatever leave it at default so once you guys are done with that all you want to do is just head over to audio and make sure you have the right microphone selected because if you don't it's going to be picking up your webcam mic or something like that and it's going to look really really bad and we don't want that happening and now heading over to video here this is where things get a little bit interesting a lot of people want to stream at 1080p because 1080p is obviously the best quality but the thing about streaming at 1080p when you're an affiliate or under that so if you're not even an affiliate you're just streaming and you have like 10 followers streaming at 1080p is not convenient for you because twitch basically doesn't support your 1080p stream all the way meaning that it's going to be laggy and everything because twitch isn't really backing you up when it comes to getting that 1080p out there so you might as well stream at 720p 60 fps because one 720p 60 fps looks really good and two 1080p 30 fps does not look as good as it could but you know having a good computer does limit you so you might as well just stream at 720p 60 fps to be able to keep all of your dank settings and be able to stream at a really good quality and that the downscale filter you're going to want to keep this at sharpened scaling 32 samples this is going to help with the blurriness so if you guys see grain in your stream and everything like that setting 
this to 32 samples will try to contain all of that to make it less blurry which I think is awesome of you know a program to do and of course for common FPS values you're gonna want to put this at 60 because a 60 FPS stream looks good all the time now for the advanced setting you want to keep this at normal because you're gonna be using your GPU which means that you don't want to stress it out too much keep in mind that when you are using NVNC if you guys are running Fortnite on epic settings with a GTX 1080 you guys might want to lower that just slightly because NVNC is using your graphics card to stream so your graphics card is basically gonna be streaming and gaming at the same time so you might just want to if you see a little bit of lag in your stream just lower down your gameplay uh, settings just a tad and you guys will see that the lag will resolve itself because the graphics card is trying to do two things at once and that is really hard to do so you know just lower your settings a little bit and you're gonna see that stream lag fix right up but besides that that is all I have for my stream lab settings and I think that these settings are honestly what got me to affiliate because as you guys can see on screen right there I play a lot of Rocket League on Twitch and on the right side right here you guys see that this is basically the chat that I had earlier you know shout out to crazy beast uh, Joey shout out to havoc and of course my own chat bot and coalition crew look at this coalition crew here with the hey guys he's Austin basically right but anyways that is what I use and I really really do think that these settings will help anybody out and just to prove to you guys that these settings aren't something that I just you know said yeah they're the best and then I kind of just left you there and you guys are gonna have a bunch of problems here are some people that I helped on Twitch because I watch these people personally on my free time I watch these people all the time and I help them through their OBS to change the settings to what I just showed you guys and this is basically what they have to say about those settings so hopefully you guys enjoy and you know just keep in mind these are other streamers out there that are just beginning or do have a little bit of a head start compared to you guys and they tried out these settings and this is basically their honest opinion about how it changed their stream and basically what it looked like before and what it looked like after the settings were switched so hopefully you guys enjoy this and I'll catch you guys around That was a good choice, guys. Man, that was... Yeah, we're... Yo, what up, everybody? Today, we're going to be uh, talking about some NVIDIA that uh, my boy Crim uh, Tech Crimson uh, actually uh, decided that he was going to help us out with. Uh, before, our streams weren't that great, and um, I think, personally, I think that it made a, a world of difference um, from uh, just uh, uh, normal, basic stuff to uh, uh the, the the stream itself isn't laggy i used to have drop frames i used to uh uh just my 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 fps was crazy definitely helped out with everything and it just looks crisp and clear um i can't complain about anything now um my boy scraps my boy uh gandhi he all got us on this so um definitely definitely uh will uh definitely uh recommend to everybody this is uh <laughs> crimson talents uh like follow whenever y'all get a chance y'all are beautiful stay beautiful good shit all right guys honestly uh, uh before uh my stream, I, what I thought was uh, decent, uh, so Tech basically did his uh, magic, and uh, afterwards, uh, the gameplay was uh, noticeably smoother. Uh, the PC, my PC in general, was noticeably faster, and uh, I, he also uh, did his magic, freed up a bunch of space, uh, things I didn't uh, know I'd even need on my stream, but basically with OBS, uh, after everything ran smoother, uh, the gameplay felt better I seen improvement in my game so it was really helpful and I recommend uh, uh, if you haven't you know let him let him do his magic on you uh, you should you should I don't know what you're waiting for you might th even if you think you're you, you know you, you might think you're uh, uh, everything is perfect but uh, once he does what he does we, uh, you know uh, it improves everything <laughs> what do you mean move around rip oh the game itself Follow the stream, uh, it's I C 
Hey, Brick, what am I saying? I scraps, uh, I S C R A P P V Z Z. Drop a follow, show some love.